Hello everybody of the Let's Play community, I am the Blind Swordsman and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean, the second story are in the last episode. We... we basically just did like the full like... I don't know what you call it, the little arena part. Uh, we got here to Liqueur City and uh, we did some of that stuff uh, with both Reyna and uh, Claude. Uh, Claude's is a little bit more action oriented where <clears throat> I guess you could say Reina's is a little more story driven But this episode I had a thought because what we could do is I Can go ahead and well, I guess I can't do that But there's like a PA we could do here. It would help us to get one of the best weapons in the game, but like I thought about it <clears throat> I'm pretty dang powerful I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to move on. Let's make sure everything's squared away. First off, we're heading for Linga, right? Yep. We need to find someone who can read the ancient text for us. With some luck, it should give us some sort of clue behind the origin of the sorcery globe. Yeah, that too. The town's located more or less south of Lakur, if I recall correctly. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's go indeed. So if you leave, you lose out on the opportunity to get that weapon I mentioned here just a little bit ago. So. Oh. Okay, cool. I got an achievement for that. I didn't think I would. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to fight nobody. Why is it doing that? Stop it. Yeah, that's now the experience points is gonna go up. So yeah, it is what it is though. Okay, let's go ahead and head down this way, and we're just gonna go to the next city. I mean, that's really what we gotta do next. To be perfectly honest about that. Um, so yeah, kill him. Yeah, we get a lot of experience points uh, just from having them attack. Now, I, what I could do. Just to kind of show this off, I might actually do that. Oh, I got those two, I guess. Um, we can go ahead and do scouting, and we can look for enemies. Actually, no. Setting Claude, because it'll be 100%. Watch this crap. Look at all that. I could just keep going ahead, and I could just dodge enemies. And you get so much experience points for it. It actually makes level grinding with, uh, to get up to level 100, a freaking breeze. It was kind of a chore to do in the first Star Ocean. It was fast, don't get me wrong, but it was a chore to do. Oh, jeez. Are you serious? Oh, I didn't know that was an enemy that was by me. <laughs> yeah. We're too, we're too powerful, though. We're too powerful for that, so. Oh, man. All right, let's head on. And as soon as we get up ahead, I think this is where the city is. Gosh dang it, get out of the friggin' way! Ah! There we go, see ya. Alright, cool. Now we can move on. We can move on with our lives. And stupid crap doesn't have to happen to us. Just, just kill them. Just kill this. No, no, don't hit me! Must be Linga. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Ah, look out. What is that thing? Ah. Uh, ah. Just stop for a second. Goodness, what was that? What's a machine doing in a place like this? Machine? What's that? Hey! What's wrong? Oh, man! Fail 
failed again. My dad's gonna laugh at me again. I just know it. Hey, you there. Are you okay? You aren't hurt or anything, are you? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. This is like totally normal. I break more things before 8 a.m. than most people break all day. I don't think that's exactly how it goes, but anyway, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, by the way, do you know where my Robbie went? Your Robbie? Yeah, you know, the guy that ran by just now. Oh, you mean that remote control toy? I think it went that way. Ah, uh, dang! I better catch him before he goes too far. Hey, wait a sec! Thanks for checking up on me. See ya, folks. The girl's like a tornado. I don't know. I thought she was kind of cute. Oh, really? That's what you like in a girl, huh, Ashton? Well, I, uh, I didn't mean anything like that, Raina. I guess she was kind of cute then. Um, let's see here. I think there is like a spot we can get. Go up ahead. Which is weird because like it's showing me some spots but it doesn't give me other spots. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. I am so sick of that little slowdown happening. Like screw that dude. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Well I'm going to go. No. I think we have to do certain events first before I could switch it to PA mode. So it's square it was RB. I don't understand that. Because the Xbox controller is RB. And you would be? Pardon me, sir. We've come here in search of a linguist. You'd like to meet the professor? Do you have an appointment? An appointment? I'm sorry, people, but the professor is a very busy man. If you don't have an appointment, then I'm afraid he doesn't have the time to see you. Could we make an appointment now, then? We really need to talk to him. Well, I don't have any openings available until about a month from now. A... Uh, a month? Yes, a month. I'll see you then. Oh, brother. Next month? He's got to be kidding us. We can't wait that long, can we? No. That's why we've got to figure out a way to get in contact with him. Do you think the linguist would have any acquaintances elsewhere in town? Hmm, like who, for example? Well, like friends, or maybe people who work at the shops he visits. We might as well hit up the town for some clues. Sounds good to me. All right, let's head this way. We gotta go talk to this guy. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Is there anything if I switch to PA mode? Because I could go back to it. Hang on, hang on. I think this is it. Because we can get a new character, a new character, if we do this. Is this the house where that quirky girl I heard about lives? Yo, what's up, Miss? You need something? 
Oh, well, I just couldn't help but notice some of the tools you're making. Oh, really? Well, that's unusual. Normally, people either treat me like I'm messed up in the head or they just don't bother talking to me at all. You're not like that at all. I think it's really impressive. Whenever someone isn't satisfied with things as they are and tries to make something new, that's really something to be admired. Yeah. The problem is most people are afraid of exploring the unknown the way I do. Anything that's beyond their plane of knowledge, they try to pretend that it doesn't exist at all. Unless it physically comes up and kicks them in the rear, they don't even try to give it a moment's thought. Oh, sort of like what happened to me when I saw Claude's Sword of Light, I suppose. Anyway, the point being, you are pretty different from the rest, little lady. I was about to take a break and make some tea. You, uh, interested in a cup or two? Uh, I... Well, I'm not forcing you, of course. Well, all right, I'd love to. Come on in, then. As you've probably noticed, everyone in town treats us like a couple of kooks. Not that I've ever let that bother me, of course. But I have to admit I'm worried about how it's affecting my daughter. Your daughter? Yeah, Priestess. <laughs> like father, like daughter, you know? Just like me, she spends all the free time she gets building weird stuff. She doesn't really have any friends, so... She's always tinkering away by herself. So, there's a bit of a favor I'd like to ask. Would you mind being friends with my daughter? Me? You're the only girl I've seen who hasn't made up her mind about Priestess before meeting her. Please. I think it'll really help her out. This way, this way. Thank you. Oh, Reyna? What are you doing here, Claude? Oh, Dad, if you're gonna be bringing cute chicks to the house, at least give me some advance warning. What are you talking about? You're the one bringing strange men in and out. You know, you could at least try to be a little more discreet about it. Um... Wow, so this thing caught your eye too, huh, Reyna? Yes, it did. Well, you know what they say. Sooner or later, true genius always gets recognized for the genius it is. Yeah, shame that usually doesn't happen until long after the creator's dead. That was unnecessary, young lady. So what was it that inspired you to make stuff like this? Huh? Oh, well, uh, I know this will sound generic, but for me, it was purely just a flash of inspiration. <laughs> oh, really? I need to ask, though. I couldn't help but notice the clothes you're wearing. <laughs> it's not something you can get just anywhere, is it? Oh, you think? Oh, they sell clothes like these all over the place. Nothing special at all. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> um... 
Quad? Well, there are people still waiting for us, so we should be taking our leave. <laughs> you have to go? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't have more here to offer. Oh, not at all. The tea was lovely. Listen, uh, you know how my dad was talking about that flash of inspiration before? Well, that was a big fat lie. A lie? A while back, my dad picked up this weird hunk of iron that shone like the sun. It was really huge, too. He said something about it falling out of the sky. Fell from the sky? Like the sorcery globe? Yeah, probably. And, um... What? Listen, Reyna, you're probably totally jealous of me right now, right? You don't have to hide it. It's not like I mind having a rival or anything. Wait, I... It's not... I'm telling you, it's okay. I mean, you do have a thing for Claude, don't you? Oh, of course not. Don't be silly. Oh, uh, so no problem then. There is a problem. A big one. And what would that be, hmm? Well, I mean... Hmm, so why? What's the big deal? I... I just... Oh! The Sorcery Globe! We've got the Sorcery Globe to think about. Listen, Priestess. We're about to set off on a journey to investigate the Sorcery Globe, okay? I'm sorry, but we don't have the time to pre- Oh, hold it there, you two. So you guys are gonna go- Yeah, that's right. Then let me go with you. Come on, take me along, please. I... Uh, we can't let you join us just because you want to. Come on, why can't I go too? We're friends, aren't we? Whoa, whoa, since when were we friends? We've always been friends as far as I'm concerned. Are you trying to deny it? That's not what we're saying, no. What's the problem then? I mean, the sorcery globe fell out of the sky too, didn't it? If I can find it and take it back home, I bet I can use it to make even better stuff than ever before. Besides, you're the only folks I know who'll treat me like a normal girl. Priestess. Really, Reyna? Fine, might as well, I guess. Woohoo! I got a few things I need to take care of, okay? I'll join you guys when you're ready to leave town. Go ahead, I'll catch up. idea what to bring. It's my first real adventure and all. Are you ready now? Yep, ready as I'll ever be. Did you say goodbye to your father? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of embarrassing though. Hey, I've seen this girl before. Are you sure about this, Reyna? I hope you don't regret it later. Oh yeah, I still
still need to introduce myself. My name is Priestess. I'm going to be joining you guys starting today. So, nice to meet you all. We ready to go then? And that's all I can really do, really. So, <clears throat> I'm going to save. And in the next part of the episode, we are going to go ahead and... Uh, Kind of get ready to head off, because we can't, if you look, like, we still can't go and do anything, so. I'm going to do that, <clears throat> and I'll see you in a little bit. Hang on a sec, everybody. Okay, I'm back, alright, let's go ahead and head this way. See what we could do in the little pharmacy place. I think there's going to be a pretty long cutscene that comes up in here, so here we go. Hello, hello. You running a fever? No, that's not the problem. We're here... for... Um, do you know the linguist who lives next to the campus store? Oh, you mean Keith? It's very important that we talk to that man. Do you know how we can meet him without an appointment? Well, he's been swamped with requests to decipher old books and scrolls lately, that much I know. Unless it's something really, really important, I doubt there's any way to jump the line. We need him to read an ancient text we found inside Cross Cave. Would that work? From Cross Cave? Well, that's a whole different story then. We can't wait a month for this. If you happen to know Keith at all, would you be able to arrange something? You're telling me you found this scroll inside Cross Cave. You know that's hard to believe based on what I know about the cave, right? We have the evidence right here, if that's what you're asking. Evidence, evidence. You could fabricate something like that easy. Not that I'm saying you're lying, mind you. Just tell us how we can convince you. If you're strong enough to traverse Cross Cave, then going through Linga's sacred grounds shouldn't be a problem for you. Linga's sacred grounds? Yep, a place revered by pharmacists for its bounty of medicinal plants. Located right next to town, you know. It still hasn't fully been explored, though. There are still all kinds of undiscovered herbs inside, no doubt. So you want us to go in there? Oh, this is no field trip. It may be a sacred ground, but deep inside exists a place known as the door to another world. It's a dangerous place and it's lousy with monsters. If you aren't ready for it, you could pay with your life. But you'll believe our story if we go and fetch some herbs for you? Hmm, maybe. If the cross cave didn't kill you, then finding me an undiscovered herb would probably convince me. An undiscovered herb? Are you serious? Oh, that shouldn't make you break a sweat, Mr. I went to Cross Cave. Come on, off you go then. Alright, so now we need to head out. And we now need to go to a different cave. So we're going to go to a different dungeon. And that's what we're going to do is get this uh, thingamajig. I don't know where we got to go, though. I don't remember uh, specifically. Oh, it's like right over here. Okay, well. Oh. Gosh dang it, why did you do that? I was just trying to get past you. Ugh. You're lucky. You're lucky that it's just only a little bit. Thing that's annoying about this though is, like, the battles could take forever, and then I have to skip things like that, so it's just stupid. There we go. Okay, leave me alone now. Let me go up here. Just dang, dude. No, leave me alone. Let me go. Uh, leave me alone. Okay, sacred grounds. Cool. This 
must be the sort of herb Bowman wants us to find. Perfect! Now we'll get to see Keith in person. You sure about that? I think I've seen these in the item shops in Arlia and Salva. Okay, let's go ahead and head out. Now we can go ahead and... Uh, I forgot how to do that. Okay, up. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and then it's... Linga? Um, oh, here we go. Right here. Yep. Has travel there. Talk to him. Brought something back, have you? Let's have a look. Here you go. What do you think? Come on, guys. You seriously think this is an undiscovered species of herb? <sighs> Sorry, this ain't gonna work. A child could have brought this back for me. Try again, huh? All right, so we gotta go deeper. I'll go back here. Jump into here. There we go. Yes, I wanna fast travel to here. Alright, let's just go ahead and get through this. I don't want this to take like a insanely long time. Gosh dang, dude, will you leave me alone? Oh wait, I have it. I have the thing set up to max, don't I? Oh well. It's fine, we'll, we'll just go ahead and, you know, get some levels up. Wow. That's so quick. Alright. Yeah, this should be taken care of super fast, though. Let's go forward. Ah, no. No, no, hit him. What are you doing? No, dude. Will you, will you guys go get him? I really hate that it, like, at uh, certain points it doesn't do that. You know what I mean? It's so annoying. Alright, well, this is easy to take care of, though. Alright, one more. And there we go. A lot of experience points too, geez. Okay, hold on, let me... And go to... Tactics. Yeah. Scouting. Do nothing. Oh, scouting, hold on. Okay, turn them off. We're good now. Alright, let's go. Hooray! When you take him, why don't you go after him, please? Oh my goodness, that's annoying—the gradually lose HP thing. But one of the bosses is kind of like that in this particular uh, level, so this dungeon. Okay, cool. Our attack strength went up. Whenever we get into another battle, so that's good. Um, where am I at here? Okay. I think we gotta go up here. This dungeon could be kind of long if you don't know where to go. But, you know, I kind of know where to go. I just like doing this part here because it'll get us a little bit of experience. I mean, it doesn't get you like a butt ton, but it gets you some. Attack him, thank you. It's not it either. And we're stuck. Great. This is gonna get annoying. I don't like this dungeon very much. It's not that fun. Let me see here. Can I climb up? Nope. So I gotta go back around and do it that way. There we go. Thank you. You should do that every time. You know what I'm saying, G? You know what I mean? Just do it every time. Alright, let's head up here. I think... Yeah, I think we gotta keep going this way. Select. Okay, I think we're getting there. Wait, what? Hold on a minute.
Okay, if I go here. Okay, so it's over here. See ya. Get out of the way. Got twin splicers. This is it up here. We can get a free heal before we do anything. So let's go into here. Alright, for boss time, and this is... Oh, it's attack power that goes down, okay. That's not really going to be a big deal then. I thought it was going to be something more of the degree of like, Oh, well, you lose health gradually. We're not losing health gradually, which is nice, so... Grab this, grab this, and we can go up and grab this. Perfect! Now we'll get to see Keith in person. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. I think we're good. All right, let's go show this to Bowman. All right, let's go ahead and do that and show this to Bowman. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go to the pharmacy again. Brought something back, have you? Let's have a look. Here you go. What do you think? Whoa! What have you found? Is it something useful? I haven't seen anything like this except in dusty old textbooks. Where did you find this stuff? Looks like we found a winner! Guys, this isn't a winner. It's a major scientific breakthrough. Is it major enough to get us a visit with the linguist? You've discovered a completely new family of medical herbs and that's all you care about? You people are special, you know that? I gotta get you in touch with Keith right away. Here, let's go. I'm taking you to Keith's house. Okay. All right, let's go to Kaufman's or Keith's house, I think. And then, I think we'll do the next dungeon, and I think we may call it an episode here very soon. Keith must be a busy man. We got pushed out of the house the last time we visited. Hold on a second. Keith! Hey, Keith! Keith, you there? Keith! Keith! Great. He's not here. What's all this racket? Sorry about that. It's me. Oh, uh, Dr. Gene. Yeah, just call me Bowman. Is Keith in? Oh, yes! Just a moment. Please, come in! Alright, let's head up this way. Gonna go through this right here. Excuse me, sir.
Heavens, did you bring the whole town with you, Bowman? Hello, Keith. What happened to the friendly neighborhood linguist I used to know, huh? What do you mean? These people have been trying to talk with you, but they keep getting booted out. Well, I've been busy deciphering these books for the kingdom. They're looking for information on the sorcery globe, but this stuff's mostly useless. That's why I'm having my assistant chase the distractions away for the time being. So you think we're distractions? He didn't mean anything by it, guys. Just tell him what you want. Well, we'd like you to translate an ancient text we found deep in the heart of Cross Cave. From the Cross Cave? Seriously? Yes. Finding it was difficult enough, but it's just too old for us to make any sense of. Hmm. Well, sounds a bit more interesting than this government busy work, at least. Let's have a look at it. Here it is. My goodness, we have a potentially monumental discovery. Really? Hmm, this resembles an ancient rabbinic hand I'm familiar with, but the script runs quite a bit differently. Do you think you can decipher it? Well, it's going to take me some time. Do you mind if I borrow this for a while? I'd like to have some time to concentrate on it. Certainly. Go ahead. Thank you very much. This is quite a surprise to find on my desk, I must say. I suppose I ought to thank you too, Bowman. <laughs> you actually thanked me. We're probably gonna see pigs fly before long. All right. <clears throat> I think we need to go this way. Yeah, and then we need to go up here, looks like. Or no, we need to go talk to him in here. Right. That'll work. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Keith was just about beside himself. We really appreciate your help. Thanks again. Oh, it's fine. What about you guys, though? You're heading off for the L continent, right? We sure are. Investigating the sorcery globe could get pretty hairy. You're aware of that, right? We'll be all right. I've got Claude with me. I gotta admit, I'm a little worried about you. Huh? If you made me pick one or the other, I've got a lot more confidence in you right now, Reyna. Claude has fallen hard for you. I'm worried he'll let his emotions get the best of him. What? Claude? What? You're telling me you've never even noticed? Man, this sure ain't boding well for you guys, is it? Listen up, folks. I don't want you risking your necks on this journey, okay? Let's make sure we all get home in one piece. Absolutely. We're dealing with people's lives here. Of course, I doubt I have much to worry about with this group you've got here. Reyna, I want you to keep a close eye on Claude. I have a feeling he's gonna try something crazy sooner or later. Um, sure. What? Why me? Forget about it. You wouldn't notice the warning signs anyway. Wait, what? Well, I'd say it's time we head for L. We'll need to ask the King of Lacour to send out a ship for us. 
and it wouldn't be a bad idea to stock up on supplies. Sounds good. Getting back home in one piece is the best souvenir we can give to our families. So safety first, folks. No disagreement here. We'll be back. Alrighty, we're gonna actually just go to somewhere. Or we're just gonna go to the next plot point, obviously. I mean, that's what we've been doing this entire LP. I think I'm gonna just call it an episode. Uh, it's gonna be a little shorter than I've been doing the videos. I know that that's not... I don't know if that's, like, not something you wanted to hear or, like, something like that. But we do need to make sure that, you know, I do get some videos out and stuff like that as well. Um, <clears throat> we actually are pretty well moving and grooving in this particular game. So, I'm not, like, too concerned about anything like that. But let's go ahead and get over to the... Oh gosh dang it, stop cutting in front of me. Jeez, man. Jeez. Where are we going back? To the core? Shouldn't be going back to the core. I guess we are going back to the core. It's really weird. Alright, keep going. Yeah. Well, let me see. Yep, we are going back there. Okay. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why we're going back to the core for. You people are evacuating to the core, right? Evacuating? Sheesh, didn't you hear the news? Monsters destroyed the L Kingdom. Their hordes are marching for the core as we speak. What? I'm sure we'll slaughter them once they reach the front line base. Until then, the area north of Lacour is going to be a battlefield. That's why we're evacuating everyone into the castle. Really? Then let us fight them too. You have any idea what you're saying? You'll just drag us down. We need you inside Lacour Castle. Now go on! All right, let's go to Lacour Castle. And then, yeah, after we're done here with the Lacour Castle, then we'll call it an episode, I think. That's what we gotta do. That's what I gotta do, what I gotta be, what I gotta see, you know what I mean? All right, let's head up here. Could I ask who's representing this group? Oh, that'd be me. Raina Lanford. And where were you born, Miss Lanford? Arlia, the village of Arlia in Cross. Arlia? You were born pretty far from here, weren't you? I suppose so, yes. All right then, please enter the castle. Alrighty, let's go enter the castle. Can we go this way then? Yeah, it looks like it. Alrighty, let's go enter the castle. I think actually, I'll, if I can find a save point here, maybe we enter the castle and call it an episode. There's not a save point, is there? Huh? I hear someone talking. So it's almost complete. We're very close, sire. The only obstacle left before this can be used is to find a material strong enough to withstand the energy this device generates. So what is the point of building this if we can't put it into use? I told you already, I can get what I need at the Hoffman Ruins. Are you sure about that, Leon? Your Majesty, just give me two days and I can get what we need. If it's as simple as that, then. Who's there? What are you doing here? It's not what you think. We're just passing through. Who's gonna believe that? I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. 
Oh, aren't you the boy who took second place in the armory contest? Huh? Don't you remember seeing him at the tournament, Leon? I don't remember it. I couldn't be bothered to watch. Oh, but I bet your majesty would, right? Yes, the boy who almost took the championship from Diaz's grasp. I remember it well. You remember me, sire? Indeed. What brings you here? Oh, I was just taking a walk around the castle. That's a lie, sire. He must be a spy coming to steal the secrets behind the Liqueur Hope. The Liqueur Hope? Don't play dumb with me, you spy. It's the latest concept weapon we're developing powered by symbology. It packs enough punch to wipe a small island right off the map. You're making that? You really have no idea what I'm talking about? Your Majesty, we are looking for a ship to take us to the L Continent. We are under decree from the King of Cross to conduct an investigation into the Sorcery Globe. Goodness, is that why you're here? Could you please give us permission to leave town? I promise you, we aren't evacuees. Hmm, I suppose it's all right, but... No, sire! They've come into contact with classified information about the Liqueur Hope. They must be put in the dungeons immediately. Yeah, but who's the one who blurted it out? Anyway, people, I can't afford to waste any more time with you. I have to go to the Hoffman Ruins now. The Hoffman Ruins? I'm just one step away from completing the Liqueur Hope. The last bit of raw material I need is found in the Hoffman Ruins. But we need all the soldiers we have over at the front line base. We don't have any reserves to send into the Hoffman Ruins with you right now. In that case, we could accompany you to the Hoffman Ruins if you like. Would you grant us passage to El in exchange, Your Majesty? Do you understand what you are getting yourselves into? The Hoffman Ruins are a very dangerous place. Forget it! I'm not going with you guys. What could you possibly do that I can't do myself? I'm sure we wouldn't drag you down too much. Besides, it's safer than traveling there alone, isn't it? If they insist upon it, then so be it. Either way, I'm going. Wonderful. In that case, there's no time to waste. You'll travel by sea to the Hoffman Ruins. I'll arrange for a ship in the Port of Hilton for you. The Port of Hilton, then. I'll be leaving now. Well then, let's make the most of our time together. I'm still worried about you, though. Here. Let me give this to you. All right, we get the combo link, and Leon has joined the party. We have six party members now. And let's see, can we go ahead and leave? I don't think we can, and I probably should do the cutscene before that anyway. We will get to the ship, and then I'll call it an episode. It's me, Leon. I need to go into the Hoffman Ruins. These people are with me, so let them through too. Yes, Dr. Guest, of course. Good luck on your expedition, sir. I won't need it. What a rude little kid. Anyway, let's go ahead and leave here. And we're gonna leave LaCour City. And then we're just gonna head and go to the next part here. Dude, I got a lot of stuff recorded today. That's good. That's goodsies. Dr. Guest! I'm going to the Hoffman Ruins. These people are with me. Yes, sir! 
I'll be back pretty soon. It won't take much time at all to get what I need. Yes, Dr. Guest. Good luck on your expedition, sir. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I think we got to go this way. Oh, yeah. So I think we just got to go back to the ship port. So I head back to the port. Um, once I get there, then we'll call it an episode. And then we'll proceed to do that in the next episode. Because, yeah, it'll it'll be good that way. And it, this episode was kind of short, but we did get a lot done in this episode. We'll get a lot done in the next few episodes. I just... Two hours was extremely exhausting. And I really didn't enjoy doing it. An hour is perfectly fine for me. Like an hour to an hour and a half. I think that's just what I'm going to do with all my videos. Except for like a big project that I have planned uh, next summer. But we want to go into here. To Hilton. And we're going to just head over to this uh, save point right here. Next time on Let's Play Star Ocean. The second story R. We're going to head to the Hoffman Ruins. We're going to do a couple of different things. And hopefully we get to the next part of the game. So, take care everybody and have a fantastic day. <laughs>